Photography affects our view of the past. We take and keep photographs so that we remember events and moments in our lives. This implies that over time we will forget a lot of what has happened in our past. It is the case that one can subconsciously replace a memory of an event with a photograph of the same event, thereby skewing how we remember it. Why do we take photographs that potentially alter our perception of how things happened? Is it the fear we have of losing or wasting time? The fear that we won't experience or accomplish enough in our lives. Do we use photographs as evidence that we have in fact lived a life? Photography records space, while memory records significance. Are these photos any less worth keeping than typical photographs? Are they less truthful because they haven't captured what you see in front of you? The mind takes a memory of an event and shaves away elements, leaving snatches, moments that it has determined to be significant in some way, even if we don't know why. This camera is, by all accounts, broken. The photos it takes are what most would consider throwaway due to their inaccuracy and distortion. But maybe they're closer in concept to how the mind handles memories retaining and eliminating elements for reasons sometimes unknown to us.
This camera is probably about 40 years old. My grandfather owned it. He died before I was born, meaning what I know of him is constructed entirely from photographs and second-hand accounts. To connect the photographs and stories of my grandfather to a human existence, a fiction must be created. He never existed in my lifetime, so a story grows in my mind. His lifetime, his experiences. A typical picture in which we see immediately what is going on couldn't capture this essence, but perhaps one in which we confront the distortion the camera produces can. Perhaps the pictures this camera produces should remain relevant because they are interpretations of the moment captured, like a true memory. This camera is a memory machine. It confronts us with its distorted, imperfect images, daring us to consider their relevance. To many, it is nothing but an out-of-date, faulty contraption not long for this world before being replaced. But I wonder if it is truly broken, if the photographs it produces are so evocative and representative of the struggle between photography as memory and true unadulted memory. I'd say it works just fine.